people that understand analytics. And um, uh, companies need these uh, data experts or analytical experts to, uh, to help them work with all the data that they, they manage. You can think of, a, of any retailer, think of all the data, all the point of sale data that is being collected. Uh, you can think of a really busy uh, website, like somewhere like a Google. Just think of the th millions and millions of transactions that occur every day on Google, and, and Google saves every every one of those uh, URL streams that you send up there. Every time you click, there's a message that's sent back to say where you want to go next. And um, because of that, they save it to try to analyze it, and it's huge, enormous, billions and billions of records of data. Think of your telephone company, uh, maybe AT&T, probably four billion calls a day on their network. They, they have to save all that for billing purposes, and they've got to make use of it. So uh, the, the, it's just an enormous uh, challenge today with the, the growth of the data. And fortunately, SAS is in a great position because uh, we've developed all this parallel computing capability that lets us analyze data you know, in, in the billions, billions and billions of rows of data can now be easily and quickly analyzed. We're able to do analytics uh, today um, gives people to do explorations and, and try new things that they never would have before because it would just would have been impossible to even fathom how many hours it would take to churn, churn through billions of rows of data. The fact that we could do it now in seconds will allow uh, modelers to come up with many, many, uh, you know, try many different models. They used to sample the data and just take a small amount of it and then build a model from that small amount of data and then go back and apply that um, model to all the data to predict uh, uh, you know, probability of default on a loan or, or, or whether you should loan somebody money or whether you should let somebody buy a house uh, um, or whether you should accept a credit card. I mean, the, the, it's just endless. Or, or should you include somebody in the next uh, uh, marketing campaign you have? Uh, because of the fact that we can do this so quickly now, it let, lets people try enormous number of different models that they would not have done before because it was just it would have been impossible to do. Another example that uh, that really lets people be innovative is our is our marketing optimization. Uh, this is where we are take, we are looking at marketing campaigns and, and choosing where the offers are, are, are made. Is, is it an outgoing phone call? Is, is it an email? Is it an SMS? Is, is, it, is it advertising on TV or, or on the web or uh, whatever? We recently did a, um, uh, had a customer with 15 million uh, customers and they wanted to uh, have a, 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 an effective marketing program to, to try to upsell or cross sell uh, to these customers. So they had 900, they, they came up with a combination of 900 possible marketing plans that they could try throughout the year. They didn't want anyone to have more than two contacts uh, in, a, in a, a week period. And you couldn't, if you contacted them by method one, you couldn't try, you couldn't use method one again. Anyway, it's an enormous optimization problem. That was taking about 15 hours to run. Now that runs in a minute and a half. So this means that you can be, your marketing people, once they've designed all the different programs, can now sit in a room and say, okay, let's optimize and see what we have. You look at the results of the optimization and say, well, let's, let's, let's add another million dollars to the overall pot and see what happens. What, what kind of revenue gain can we get by doing that? And in, in another minute and a half, the results are back. Used to be everybody would go out and meet, you know, two days later to take a look at the latest run to see what kind of projection that did and then have to wait another couple of days to do it again if they wanted to experiment with, with, a, with some changes. Now they can make those changes uh, sitting around the boardroom and have the results back in a minute and a half. So that is one of the uh, most... Uh, uh, creative things that people are going to be able to do with this, this, this uh, new high-speed, uh, high-performance high computing.